Sense. So many times in history, populations take the arrogance of the elite and their confidence as invincibility. But the type of grasping, bootlicking, sycophantic people like Paul Ryan and Rens Priebus and the rest of them that rise to the tops of these organizations. Not because they're good leaders or independent men, but because they're total minions who get off on the security of going into their big marble buildings and into their back rooms and sitting around with the lobbyist and the representatives from the establishment thinking they're invincible. That's, that's criminology. That the more criminals get away with something, the more reckless they get. Just like they tried to announce, there was never voting in a primary. You silly conspiracy theorist. They actually use those terms. Conspiracy theorist and kooks think that your vote counts and the delegates supposedly pledge themselves. Well, they do. And I don't care if you change some rule to say it, then we need to change that back where you claim the inner party decides who can run for president directly out of the communist Politburo central committee system. I mean, that's what it is. And these lawyers, they all get up there in their $3,000, $4,000 suits, and they sit there with their $500 ties on and their $4,000 shoes. And they think because they're banging hookers every night on taxpayer expense and, you know, eating $200 steaks and fly around in helicopters, that that means they're infallible and invincible. I'm always reading about billionaires and people, like one of the Walmart heirs, the guy was worth like 80 billion. He went and got super dangerous ultralight and crashed it and killed himself. And family said, well, he thought he was invincible because he had $80 billion. No, you're not invincible. That's what I'm getting at here, is these people are crazy. What do they call small planes and small jet planes? They call them doctor killers. There's so many doctors and lawyers go get their license, they learn to fly, they get arrogant, they get confident, and then they drive their planes right into the ground. It's that same delusion, that megalomania. As they get more power, they feel more and more invincible. And so they came out and said, nobody can have Trump. And all these foreign leaders agree. And, and so we're going to just take it away from him. People said, no, you're not. So it caused the numbers to get even stronger for Trump. So now they've backed off. And I said last week with Stone, I said, you watch. They're arrogant. They're not going to back off now. They think they're invincible. They're just waiting so that Trump stops talking about how they're stealing it from him. And then they're going to basically scuttle it or, or, or take the money or do something. And that's exactly what they're doing is they're claiming because the RNC, the money goes to the RNC first as a clearinghouse, that they're going to keep the money and that Trump's supposed to make a deal with them. And then they're going to basically run the ship aground and let Hillary get in, which Paul Ryan has said and Mitch McConnell have said, again, the arrogance level, that they get up there and say, we're the party, we run this country, we'll do what we want, we're working with Hillary. They've totally uncloaked themselves. Just like John Kerry comes out and Obama in the same weekend at commencement speeches and says we're going to have a borderless world, get used to it. Just like they say, hey, UK, you got to stay in the European Union, even though you never got to vote 20 years ago to enter it, and even though it now makes almost all your laws and is ordering the UK to bring in hundreds of thousands every few months of unvetted people from Syria and other areas, or they're going to fine them a quarter million euros per person. Unelected bureaucracy says quarter million for each person you refuse. And you're a nation state, and you go, I don't want to pay for this. I don't want to do this. They go, that's the way it is. You're going to go under it. That's world government. It's not just like they're building some Star Trek Federation. We're all going to be lovey-dovey and, you know, walk around in, you know, cool one-piece outfits and you know, fly around and, and, and battle the aliens and whatever. That's all UN programming, the UN symbol. They admit that. You know, the, 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 the symbol of the Starfleet and all the rest of it. It's just in your face. No. It's big, giant mega banks above the law and armored fortresses controlling everything we do and dictating what we do. And then you look at the media and the propaganda, the culture they're pushing is pure death, anti-family, anti-free market, 
eugenics. These people are pure evil. They're committed to evil. For all of recorded history, civilizations around the world praised the health benefits of silver. At InfoWars Life, our mission is to bring you the highest quality, purest, cleanest, effective colloidal silver on the market today for the lowest price available. You don't have to be a doctor to know. The fall and winter months are the most dangerous time of year in North America when it comes to you and your family's health. InfoWarsLife.com is very excited to announce our biggest run yet of silver bullet colloidal silver exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Now, InfoWarsLife.com has taken colloidal silver to the next level using a cutting-edge technique that is free of toxic artificial additives. Now more than ever, it's important to stock up on high-quality silver bullet from InfoWarsLife.com and to help others during Christmas by teaching them about the powerful benefits of silver. Secure your silver bullet today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139.